Honor to be here. My name is Alex Klukowski. I'm the founder and CEO of Matter Labs, which is the company behind ZK Sync. ZK Sync is the pioneer of ZK technology on Ethereum. We are the team that created the very first ZK rollup that ever worked on Ethereum testnet. We have pioneered a number of uh, important milestones, such as the very first ZK EVM. We have just released very recently the fastest ZK VM with Risk Five in the world, and we're continuing building towards the future where blockchains are fully scalable. Look, to zoom out, the blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum, the key innovation of these technologies is trust automation. There is a lot of value in creating trust and there are very powerful authorities and institutions who are serving in the tr trust building function. Blockchains cut through that because you can verify directly what's happening on blockchains. But the only way to scale these properties, not just scale blockchains, not just enable more transactions, but enable more transactions that are on breakable that can be directly verified. It's not possible with the legacy technologies. ZK proofs is really the only technology we have that can do this at arbitrary scale. It's the future of Ethereum. It's what Vitalik agrees with and what the Ethereum for thought leadership agrees with. ZK is the end game for all of blockchains. In a couple of years, every blockchain that survives will be a ZK rollup. So what we're doing right now is we're heavily focused on institutions and enterprises, especially in the United States. The mission of ZK Sync is to advance freedom for the entire world by achieving the mass adoption of crypto. Now, the biggest source of mass, mass adoption would be coming from the real businesses and the real economy that is integrated into the digital assets technologies. And this was not possible before the regulators and legislators actually created the rule book that enabled the, the proper integration. This just happened. This, like, we're literally living through the most important transformation of the blockchain tech in history, with the US administration being extremely pro crypto and crypto friendly and the passing of the Clarity Act. And the entire world is looking up to the US to, to see what it's going to do. So once the US progresses, uh, the entire world is going to catch up. And we have been betting on this development since a couple of years now. We have done one of the first Ethereum projects that done the pilot with the largest worlds, one of the largest sports banks, the UBS. Later, we closed the partnership with Deutsche Bank, the probably one of the few largest European banks, and then are live with a Previdium, a private chain on ZK Sync. And we're working towards onboarding more enterprises and institutions, specifically with the solution called Previdium, which is a private version of a ZK rollup, where the data is controlled by the operator, not disclosed, except for selectively showing whatever data the, the compliance requires. But they're still connected to the global crypto economy, unlike fully private legacy blockchains, you don't rely on external bridges. You don't have the risks associated with external bridges. I mean, we know that there have been billions of dollars worth of uh, lost funds. Two, you never run into lack of capital. Have you experienced this where you have to go and bridge some tokens from one chain to another, or the slippage is too high, or it just doesn't exist and you cannot move your tokens, or the tokens are too rare and you have to convert them to something else? All of that is completely eliminated. Any token in the ZK Sync ecosystem can move to any any chain without limits. This gives the users the ability to just explore the ecosystem and move everywhere with efficient capital it moves so they can benefit from the economic opportunities on the chains. You might have not known this, but ZK Sync is the second largest ecosystem in the world, second only to Ethereum on RWAs with over 2.3 billion worth of assets locked there. All of that is a source of yield which is outside of crypto inner circle and that is very, very interesting for these enterprises and institutions in ZK Sync, the ZK token plays an extremely important function. It's first and foremost the governance token, so it controls everything that is happening in the ZK Sync ecosystem. It's one of the most decentralized ecosystems in crypto today with over 400,000 individual holders. But that also means that the ZK token is a stem cell token that can transform from the governance function to anything else. So the goal is to make ZK Sync a long-term oriented sustainable ecosystem. And as I said before, our mission is to advance the mass adoption of blockchain technology in the real-world economy.
and we see the enthusiasm and energy in the Korean community. These are absolutely inspiring and exciting. We have partners who are running chains in the ZK Sync ecosystem, such as Abstract and Cellphone, that are already very popular and well known in the Korean community. And we just want to increase our presence here and be more active and be on the forefront of this adoption. My name is Hong. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Gravity. A little bit of my background, I used to be a trader at Goldman's and Credit Suisse out of Hong Kong for about 10 years and started this company, Gravity, uh, in 2022, November. And Gravity is simply a privacy-driven DEX. We recently raised our Series A. We raised $19 million. That actually sums up to about $34 million that we've raised so far. The future of banks are actually going to be driven by today's crypto exchanges. And uh, if you look at today's you know, central exchanges such as Binance or Bybit, I think a lot of these exchanges actually are already starting to integrate the overall the financial marketplace's value chain. You know, starting from deposits to trading and investing into different types of products on the actual exchange because it's significantly cheaper to run and more efficient and it actually eliminates a lot of the middleman that is across these value chains. So therefore, what Gravity wants to do is that by leveraging these funds, we want to be actually the pioneers of pushing ahead to expedite this evolution. First of all, we launched probably about two weeks ago as the, I guess, the first exchange to offer negative one rebate for all maker trades to everyone. On Gravity, everyone has the opportunity to actually make money per trade by receiving negative one basis points. And then the second thing that we are actually focusing on is building out our own Gravity protocol vault strategy. That is a market making strategy that is run professionally, offering over 50% of APR roughly as an average with a sharp ratio of 7.6 that will be actually available for all our retail users or platform users to be able to invest into. Then the third one that we are launching in the early of October is going to be the first exchange or first DEX to be able to offer a 10% deposit yield for every dollar that you keep on Gravity. And actually on top of that, be able to use that investment or deposit as margin on the platform. So I think this is also a very revolutionary feature or service that we're going to be offering to make sure that our retail users are able to benefit from these yield products, not just from trading. And then lastly, we're also focusing on allowing every single person on the platform to be able to get a share of the exchange revenue by inviting more friends. So anyone that you invite and actually has trading, then you'll be getting up to 25% of profit split. Imagine when you are making any transactions on a blockchain, all that activity is going to be public. But when you apply that to a financial services, then it becomes a bit of a problem because if you are a institution or a person that has a lot of big assets, you typically don't want to reveal the amount of assets that you're holding onto a wallet or all the transactions that you're doing or transfers that you're doing or trades that you're making. So what Gravity is doing is actually leveraging uh, ZK Sync's uh, Validium technology to offer on-chain privacy. Offering this privacy, I think we will be able to open up more adoption. And in fact, we're actually seeing more of those conversations as we're expanding Gravity as a product. DEXs are still very difficult to use. So what we Gravity wants to do is we're actually eliminating a lot of these additional information that people need to learn and making it as Web2 centric as possible for from a UX perspective. And then the second part is around offering what people want. We're trying to add additional value to the platform by offering yield or you know passive income opportunities for people who are using the platform or the exchange. I think we've talked about the negative fee rebate where every trade that you make, you can actually make money out of the trades. And then the second is the 10% deposit yield where you're actually making 10% interest on the deposit that you make onto the exchange that is also usable as margin. And then the third is investing your ass uh, money into the exchange's vaults where you're getting 50% profits. And then lastly, one thing that I also wanted to mention is the privacy part, right? I think the key technology that we have is offering a private trading experience so that uh, your data, your information is not going to be revealed to public. So it's significantly more secure and intact. First of all, a lot of our users are quite happy with the focus on the security, the reliability, and the privacy aspects of the exchange. For example, we have two-factor authentication, we have role-based access controls within the trading accounts, etc. And then the second part is the fact that we thrive to make things easier to use. So recently, we've actually revamped our mobile application, which a lot of the users feel it that it is very easy to use and very similar to how a typical central exchange is. UX. 
We are going to be focusing a little bit more on RWAs over the next few months. For example, using them and bridging them into gravity and then using them as margin or for trading perps or even using it as collateral for borrowing lending. And the second one is professional investors or strategy managers that can offer high quality investment products on the platform. We have something called the gravity strategies where professional managers deploy strategies like a fund model that is built on chain. And then the third is still emphasizing and focusing on how to generate more passive and safe fixed income products. So for example, we start with a 10% deposit yield, but we will ensure that that is able to be also tokenized and additionally used as not just margin, but also collateral for borrowing lending, etc. And then the last one that um, we have in mind, actually before Q1 of 2026, we are going to be launching gravity tokens. So you start trading and you start accruing points. And these points will eventually be converted to gravity tokens. And we're spending quite a lot of time to make sure that we have a very good tokenomics for that TGE launch next year.